What Brazilian athlete became a superstar in 1958, eventually winning three World Cups? Okay. What did WMD stand for? WMD? Yep. Okay. What service launched in 1997, allowing subscribers to have DVDs mailed directly to their home? Redbox. What advertising character for cereal was a vampire with a Dracula accent? Pass. What HBO series with obsessive fans caused the baby name Khaleesi to spike in popularity? Pass. What Brazilian athlete became a superstar in 1958, eventually winning three World Cups? Pass again. What did... WMD or WMDs stand for? Um, worm, monkey, dog. What advertising character for cereal was a vampire with a Dracula accent? Accent. Uh, Count Dracula. What HBO series with obsessive fans caused the baby name Khaleesi to spike in popularity? Um, Game of Thrones. Time. What was your answer for number four? What advertising character for cereal was a vampire with a Dracula accent? Uh, Count Chocula. Okay. Time, as we said earlier, so it's not time now. <laughs> yeah, I stopped it. <laughs> just out of habit. I knew you stopped it. seconds later. And... It just came out. Oh. Will, hold on, bud. Wave number in Maitland. Eight. Number two is something. Okay, here comes Maitland. Maitland enters the room. Enters the dojo. Has dropped the denim for full chartreuse. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we're talking like this, uh, no, just, but I like sometimes it. Sometimes it's fun to make noises. Maitland Willis on hold. And it's time for you to play. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Your turn on Dumber Than the Show trivia. $200 on the line. Begins in three, two, one. What Brazilian athlete became a superstar in 1958, eventually winning three World Cups? Pass. What did WMD or WMDs stand for? Pass. What service launched in 1997, allowing subscribers to have DVDs mailed directly to their home? Netflix. What advertising character for cereal was a vampire with a Dracula accent? Count Chocula. What HBO series with obsessive fans caused the baby named Khaleesi to spike in popularity? Game of Thrones. What Brazilian athlete became a superstar in 1958, eventually winning three World Cups? Pass. What did WMD stand for or WMDs? Pass. Time. How'd you do? I feel good about the last three. Okay. Let's welcome back Will. Hi, Will. How's it going? It's good. Ready? Let's score this game. Yep. What Brazilian athlete became a superstar in 1958, eventually winning three World Cups? Pitched a shutout on this one. Maitland was pass pass. Will was pass pass. The answer is Pele. Oh. <clears throat> Thought that one might be a little deep in the archives unless someone older got through. You should have given, uh, given his one line from that one movie. That's even more obscure than his name. I don't know yeah. squat about baseball. He said, it's soccer. Wasn't his line like, Bleh. it wasn't oh. even a word? Uh, he played soccer. I know you just said, I don't know squat about baseball. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah but, you really don't. Uh, it's true. I really don't. Yeah. Definitely soccer. Ooh. Or, or football, the rest of the world would call it. All right. Tied at zero. What did WMD or WMDs stand for? Um. Maitland passed and then passed. Will passed and came back and said, Worm Monkey Dog. <laughs> cute. It is cute. It is incorrect. Weapons of mass destruction. Oh. A buzzword from the early 2000s before the invasion of Iraq. What advertising character for cereal was a vampire with a Dracula accent? Maitland said, Count Chocula. Will passed and then said, Count Chocula. Both correct. One to one. <laughs> What HBO series with obsessive fans caused the baby named Khaleesi to spike in popularity? Maitland said Game of Thrones. Will Pass and then said Game of Thrones. It is Game of Thrones. 
And we are tied at two. Last question for the win. What service launched in 1997 allow, allowing subscribers to have DVDs mailed directly to their home? Maitland said Netflix. Will said Redbox, the box you stop at to get movies that is not at your home. The answer is Netflix. Maitland wins. <laughs> Three to two. Got to catch them all. Oh. <laughs> Will, Good job, Thank you. Well, I got a text from a friend, and we both caught a stray on this one. It's a little offensive, and I want you to hear it so that I'm not the only one who's sad. Quote, he's okay. an idiot, and you can't talk. What a combo. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was worse for me. Yeah. Yeah, what did you do wrong? Is there anything? I, almost always there's something. Uh, Will, thank you for listening. Thanks for playing. We'll see you. Next Saturday night at the live show at 20 Monroe. Wait, have a great day. All right, bud. You too. Derp, derp, derp. <laughs>